In Alberta, two men were sentenced today to six and a half years for their role in the Coots border blockade. It was one of several across the country to protest COVID rules and vaccine mandates in 2022. CBC's Aaron Collins is outside the courthouse in Alberta, and he joins us with more on the sentencing. So, uh, Aaron, take us through the details. Right. Well, this, I mean, to take you through the details of today, you almost have to kind of go back in time a little bit, right? You got to go back to, to the dark, cold days of February in 2022 when the border just south of here was blocked off for two whole weeks. And that protest that, of course, was all wrapped up in those uh, COVID restrictions that was taking over Parliament Hill as well. So these gentlemen were arrested way back then with a giant cache of weapons. They had bulletproof vests and they had a large uh, amount of ammunition there. And they were initially charged with conspiring to murder RCMP officers. In addition to that, charged with having these weapons and a, a, for a dangerous purpose and for mischief, for, dr for, for blocking off that border. Now, they uh, were not convicted of the most serious charge, which was conspiring to kill those police officers, but they were convicted of those mischief charges and of having these dangerous weapons for a dangerous purpose. So what happened today? They were handed down the sentence of six and a half years for those two remaining charges. And uh, you have to sort of remember that these charges were a large part of the justification the federal government used for deploying the Emergencies Act, which was able to sort of clear those protests out and allow the country to kind of move on. Supporters of these gentlemen who received that stiff sentence today, they were upset. They think this is politically motivated. Have a listen to what they had to say. There's a lot of uh, shock in this, uh, in this courtroom, in the hallway, in the courtyard. It was a political protest during unprecedented times. And none of that, unfortunately, has made its way into the court. And I feel that this is a travesty of our justice system. And I feel that what happened here today is sets a very, very dangerous precedence for proceedings in Canada moving forward. So that's Marco van Hugenbos, one of the organizers of the blockade, uh, not connected in any way to these gentlemen that had the cache of weapons, but one of the organizers. And interestingly, he'll be facing mischief charges for his role in that blockade, in that protest later this month. So, Aaron, what are the lawyers for the two men who were sentenced saying? Yeah, well, they're not happy. If you do the napkin math here, the six and a half year sentence minus time served, these folks are still going to be going back to prison for uh, for another two and a half plus years. And uh, they aren't happy about that. They think it's uh, the judge said that it was being used as a deterrent to stop other people from taking the law into their own hands. Uh, and uh, they think it's excessive. Have a listen. I was surprised it is excessive based on the case law. It indicates a level of violence that I would not see in the case law. I do believe that this was a political uh, prosecution and that certainly came through in the sentence. And Jacqueline, uh, the lawyers for both Anthony Olenek and Chris Carbert say they are going to be appealing the sentences that were handed down today as well as the charge, the conviction uh, for possession of a weapon for a dangerous purpose. Okay, Aaron, thanks so much for the details on this. That's CBC's Aaron Collins in Lethbridge, Alberta.